<laughs> How are we supposed to save him as well? This is ridiculous. This is making a big ass mess. <laughs> Come on. You gotta be kidding me. This is awful. Shit. <laughs> this is the point where. All right, so we got our siphon going. <laughs> it took some time. There was a little struggle, but we did finally get it going. So while this warms up, we'll be sipping on a dead ringer. Another great recipe by Northern Brewer. And chilling out. <coughs> oh, Jesus. All right, so we're, we're gonna brew a batch of Northern Brewer with this hop spider. It's got uh, four doses of Chinook hops that go in at different times. So I think this is gonna be a great test for this. One thing though, as you can see, it's a little bit taller than our pot, but that's okay. It's still gonna work like we want it to. We just wanna keep the hops from getting into our brew. What's up people? This is Brewing Daddy at it again. We're about to brew up a five gallon batch of Northern Brewers Fresh Squish. And It's not a good day. <laughs> Just want to keep a close eye on it. At least for the first few minutes. Until you get your, your rolling ball established. And while we wait, we're going to hydrate. And we got a Sierra Madre here. I was saying you gotta watch it because even at a controlled temperature you gotta watch it for sure Ugh. Paper towels. so we're ready to put it in our fermenter John, about the big, huh? the big uh, pot. How many tomato I can plant the tree? Just one. The Only big one. Pot? Yeah. The one yeah, that, yeah, because that's what we planted before. It grew good. The one that the I removed two, the. Not, it's too much roots if you put more than one. I uh, saw so one only. Yeah, that's all I'm. <coughs> oh. 
Okay, so Jesus. Okay, so our wort is cooled and we're going to transfer it into our fermenter. This brew is pretty clean. Gonna leave a little bit of the sludge. There's not much. Oh, there is. We're gonna leave it behind. Just a little bit of hops. All right, we're gonna get our lid on here and we're gonna get this in a cool, dark place for two weeks. And then we'll come back and we will bottle this one. All right, so <laughs> no, no, no. All right, so we're going to put our yeast in, sanitize our pack and our scissors. Normally don't do that on these smaller batches, but I'm gonna do it on this one since they recommend it. I don't know if it's a good idea to do that with the airlock in. Actually, we'll remove the airlock. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. All right, they recommend you shake this around and aerate it, so we're going to do we're going to do that a little bit. Fucking sure. This is what happens when you get out of recording for a little while. Everything goes to shit in a handbasket. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, check out brewingdaddy.com and don't forget to visit more beer our sponsor we're going to be brewing up their stuff once we return from our summer break morebeer.com we'd like to know what you'd like us to sample for you so if you have a chance check out their website let us know what you'd like us to brew uh, we'll be buying up a bunch of their recipes and uh, we'll, we'll do any suggestion you have peace out people we'll see you next time